Now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr, Saint Lucy, give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel and camped tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows. 
of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within the reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, and ruptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Please stand. Show us, Lord, your love, and grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it to me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. He himself said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. 
my dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Since yesterday, the topic of our reflection is bent on the figure of John the Baptist, together with his teaching on the moral life. What, when he was preaching the baptism of repentance, answering the question, what should we do? Ano ang gagawin namin? Kung maalala natin ang misa natin kahapon ay patungkol sa pagpapahayag ng pagbabautismo ni Juan Bautista. At pagkatapos mabautisto, mabaw, maba, mabautismuhan ang mga taong sumusunod, sumunod sa kanya, they were asking, ano na ang gagawin namin? And he gave instruction, those who have two cloaks should share with the person who has none. At yung may mga maraming pagkain should share it likewise to other people. Nagtanong din ang mga tax collectors, those who are considered public sinners, he gave them in the instruction, stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Even soldiers, Roman soldiers, who were following John the Baptist, also asked him, kami, ano naman ang gagawin namin para magbagong buhay din kami? He told them, do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Kung titingnan natin mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, may pagbabagong loob na nangyayari pagkatapos magpahayag ni Juan Bautista ng bautismo niya. Baptism of repentance. Inihahanda niya tayo para sa paparating na Panginoon. John the Baptist is the voice crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord and make straight his path telling and warning people that someone is coming very important magbagong loob at magpabautismo today in our third week of preparation this season of advent our gospel talks about another episode between Jesus and some of the chief priests and the elders the Pharisees appears to be questioning from whose authority you, Jesus, are you teaching? What right do you have to do these things? Si Jesus naman niya yun ang question nila. Anong kay mo na magpahayag? Saan ba at kanino nang gagaling yung sinasabi mo kapangyarihan na yan sa mga sinasabi mo? Jesus, rather than answering the question head on, also asked a question. Binato sa kanila ang tanong din. I shall ask you one question. And if you answer it for me, I shall tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Tanong niya, where was John the Baptist, uh, baptism from? Saan nang gagaling ang pagbabautismo ni Juan Bautista? Was it heavenly or human origin? It is as if Jesus is telling them, alam nyo naman eh, kung saan nang gagaling ang otoridad na bakit ako nagpapahayag. Alam nyo kung ano ang tama at mali, kung ano ang matuwid at paluktot. Kung may pagbabagong nangyayari, o wala sa mga taong nakikinig at nagpapahayag ng bautismo ni Juan Bautista. So, they discussed it among themselves and said, if we are to say it is of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John the Baptist. And so, the elders and the chief priests somehow opted to play safe. Anong sagot nila? Hindi namin alam. 
They pretended to be ignorant and give shallow excuses. Ba malay ba namin dyan? Kung kanino nang galing ang bautismo ni Juan. Sagot ni Jesus, neither will I tell you. Kung ating pagninilayan, ganun ba talaga kahirap malaman kung noong tama at mali? Kung ano ang baloktot at tuwid? Kung may magandang pagbabagong nangyayari sa mga taong sumusunod kay Juan Bautista? I guess, sa mga taong may common sense kung alin ang tama at mali, hindi na kailangan ng paliwanag o patunay kung kaninong otoridad nang gagaling ang mga turo ni Heso Kristo at bautismo ni Juan Bautista. Wala itong pinanggalingan kundi sa pinaka-source ng kabutihan. Saan? Sa Diyos. Galing sa taas of heavenly origin. Pero sa taong walang paniniwala at pananampalataya, lahat ay questionable. Mababaw ang pagkaunawa kung ano ang tama at mali. Kahit nakikita na naharapan na may pagbabagong loob na nangyayari dulot ng mga turo at bautismo ni Juan Bautista, nothing will be enough for the person who doesn't have faith. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for our reflection today, we are challenged to sense and recognize the movements of God in our lives, especially during events that we notice great good changes brought by our following of Jesus and the instruction of John the Baptist. Talikdan ang mali at gumawa ng kabu. Tihan. Just like how the soldier did it. Just like how the tax collector realized it. And just how he instructed the common tao who has more to share what they have. Let us not be too shallow like the chief priests and the elders. Hirap makita ang pagbabagong dulot na nangyayari sa ating kapwa. Let us be keen in recognizing the traces of God working in us as we follow the instruction of John the Baptist in our baptism of change and repentance. This is rightfully preached in the very theme of the Advent season. The Spirit of God is undoubtedly working if there is a what? Self-realization that makes us say, Ah, kailangan kong magbago. Ano po ang gagawin ko? May na-realize ako sa sarili ko. Nauntog ang ulo ko sa bautismo ng pagbabagong loob ni Juan Bautista. May pagbabagong hinihingi na nanggagaling mismo saan sa atin because we realized it. John the Baptist only invited but we responded. Hindi pilit. It is always evocative. Inaakit tayo ng Diyos maging mabuti. Hindi pinipilit. At salamat sa Diyos kapag nangyari sa atin ito. Sa misang ito, habang patuloy tayong naghahanda sa parating na Pasko, patuloy po nating pakinggan ang boses ni Juan Bautista at ang kanyang pagpapahayag na maghanda ng daraanan ng Panginoon. Paano ito natin gagawin? Magbagong loob. Magbagong buhay. Talikdan ang kasalanan. Recognize the changes that is happening between us in each and every one of us. And hopefully, we can say that it is God 
working in us. Dahil paparating ang Panginoon. Amen. Please stand. In prayer, we now approach God the Father, who has power and authority over all things, and unload the burden that weigh us down. In every prayer we say, Father Almighty, hear us. Father Almighty, hear us. That those who exercise authority in the church may be filled with gentleness, humility, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That those who are in authority may be guided in making decisions by wisdom based on love, justice, and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That parents may, by their authority in the home, seek more to love and be loved than to create an atmosphere of repression and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That the sick may find healing and consolation through God's word and the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That the dead may be brought safely home in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our truth and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Lucy poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth 
and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, it as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory are yours, are yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, my roof but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed and blessed Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of the sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.